Xpayments allows you to set up subscription-based products and automate recurring billing process. This is possible with Xpayments subscriptions module. So let's check how it works. Make sure the module is installed and enabled. Go to Modules section. If the module is not installed, you can find it in the Marketplace. Just follow this link and search for the module in the list there. As soon as the module is installed, you can set it up. Click Settings and on the Open page you can specify the following parameters. Number of rebuild attempts for an unsuccessful charge. So there are going to be three more attempts if the charge is unsuccessful. How often to attempt rebuilds for an unsuccessful charge? I'll keep one here, so rebuild attempts are going to take place every single day. And how many days in advance you would like your customer to be notified of an upcoming payment? Let it be one. Click Submit. Now let's see how to add a subscription-based product. In fact, the process is almost the same as adding our regular product in Xcard. Okay, let it be a magazine subscription. Go to Catalog, Products, Add Product. For now, I specify only the name of the magazine. Let it be Amazing IT World. Click Add Product. A product has been added. In order to turn it to a subscription-based product, I go to tap Subscription Plan and tick the checkbox here. Let the setup fee be $6 and subscription fee $4. Now you should specify the plan. Your customer's credit card is going to be charged on a regular basis. You can specify if it's going to happen on some particular day of a week or a month or a year. Or the payment should take place weekly, monthly, yearly, or every two, three weeks or months, etc. Specify the number of rebuild periods. If I specify 10 here, after the 10th period, the subscription will be stopped. If I keep 0, the subscription will be unlimited. Click Save. Let's check how it works for customers. If we go to the Product Details page, we see all the subscription details here. So let's add it to cart. View cart. The info is available here as well. Once the order is processed, a customer gets a confirmation message with all the info regarding the subscription and a confirmation notification by email. Now the information is available in the customer's account in section Subscriptions. Here a customer can check if the subscription is active or not. The subscription fee and the next payment date are specified as well. A customer can also check the status of the payment, if it has been paid or declined, for example. The store owner can check purchased subscriptions in section Orders – Subscriptions. Here we can also see all the details concerning subscriptions. The status can be manually changed. Once the status is changed here, it's changed for the customer as well. If you want to check orders relating to some particular subscription, click the subscription number. If we go to the Users section, we can check for subscriptions purchased by a particular user. Thank you for watching the video.